Is Jet Greaves good enough to become the next full-time backup for Columbus? Quite possibly. That's our discussion today. It's a season review on Locked on Blue Jackets. Your Locked on Blue Jackets, your daily podcast on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to Locked On Blue Jackets, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your t- team every day. I'm your host, Hayden Househorn. Uh, with me, or not with me today, is my co-host, Jay Foster. He is taking another day off. He will be back uh, sometime very shortly. Uh, before we get started, we want to thank you for making this your first listen every day. Locked On Blue Jackets is free and available wherever you get your podcasts. It's free on YouTube. It's free even on the Sirius XM app. So go check us out there. We are continuing our season reviews, and finally down to our last two goalies. We got Jet Greaves and we got Elvis. Today is the young goalie out of uh, Cambridge, Ontario. Jet Greaves, 22 years old. Been with the organization for a couple of seasons now. He was undrafted, but we've seen this guy grow up a little bit. He's the youngest goalie in the organization in the organization as of now. Um, he's younger than Elvis and Daniel Tarasov. And I think there's real potential with him because he played his last NHL game or he played his first NHL game at the end of last season. At the beginning of April, he got to play in his hometown team against his hometown team, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And yes, he is from Cambridge, Ontario, which is just east of Toronto or excuse me, just west of Toronto. So. He played his hometown team, played a pretty good game, stopped uh, 45 of 48 shots, had a .939 save percentage, was overall really, really solid against a juggernaut um, in Toronto and what they can bring offensively. That was the one NHL game Jet Greaves played this year. He passed that test with flying colors. The Jackets lost a 4-2 game. Gave up an empty net goal near the end. So that's not his fault. But to go to Toronto, only allow three goals on 48 48 shots in April on a team that was tanking for Connor Bedard, pretty, pretty good, pretty good stats. In fact, in just the one game sample, that was that was better than what we got. In most of our games, from Daniel Tarasov and Elvis Mers Lincolns, we know that those guys were below a .939 save percentage. So in the one sample size that we got of Jet Greaves, he was already better than Elvis and Daniel. And now we know that you got to take it and make it more consistent. You got to build game after game. You got to build start after start before you start to really – get some serious NHL playing time. But so far, what we've seen from Jack Greaves, even with his time with the Monsters last year, it's been some really sound goaltending. There are some things that I want to say go against him. In fact, there's only one thing that really is a disadvantage to him, and that's his height. And even still, this is something that is so silly to me because we're so used to – NHL teams going after these big goaltenders. Daniel Tarasov is 6'4". Elvis Merz Lincoln's is 6'3". And then every other team goes just for, for goalies that are 6'3", 6'4". Jay's talked about that, that. The new thing now is to go get those big, tall goalies. Jack Kreeves is only six foot, and he looks shorter in net. But I don't think that affects how he plays. I mean, does it really? Maybe. Maybe it means that there's a little more open area over his shoulder. But it doesn't seem to bother him. He looks really solid in that. He looks really comfortable in that. The fact that he played so well in his NHL debut, the fact that he played so well in his hometown, which was the same game as his NHL debut, Screams to me that this guy is not afraid of the big stage. It screams to me that he was built for the big stage. And 
I think there is a world here where in the next two to three years, we see Tarasov Greaves, Tarasov Greaves, Tarasov Greaves. We see those two be the one-two punch. Um, I really like what I see out of Jet Greaves. There's there's a lot a lot to love. Um, I wish Jay was here to talk about some of the actual nitty-gritty goalie stuff with me, but the Blue Jackets over the years have gotten – so much value out of goalies that they haven't really reached for. And now here they are with um, Jet Greaves, a guy that they got undrafted. Most of their goalies, by the way, have been drafted in the third round. Corpusalo, Tarasov, Merce Lincolns, like all these guys are third round. The Jackets love to get their goalies in the third round. So getting Jet Greaves undrafted from for him, going from playing – in an NHL game, all the way coming from being undrafted is amazing. Is already a success story, and I hope he can continue it on to the next level. Also, love that he wears the number seventy three. That's just a really good looking number on him. Um, yeah, I thought he had a lot of poise, man. I was really, I feel like he's been long due to make his NHL debut. He's been kind of teased a few times. A couple times last year, he was just brought onto the bench. And I was like, man, come on, give the kid a start. Give the kid a start. Don't bring him up. Don't keep bringing him up here and just let him sit there. Give the kid a start. And uh, finally, he did get a start. He didn't wait that many games. It might have only been a couple of games where he was sitting on the bench last year. But in all the mess that was last year, I think Jack Greaves getting in an NHL game needed to happen. I'm glad it did happen. And I'm glad he played well. I'm glad he played. He actually played a I'm much better than I expected. I expected him to come in and and give up five or six goals and and you know only face 27 or 28 shots and the game just be over in a dash. But no, the Blue Jackets were in the game all the way to the end. Uh, Jack Rostovic had a nice goal in that game. Liam Foody actually looked really good in that game. I believe he was also playing a hometown game. I think he's from that area as well. So a lot that I really liked, a lot of young talent really popped off the page when I went back and watched the game recap of that April 4th game where the Blue Jackets lost to Toronto 4-2. to There's a lot that popped off the page, but definitely Jet Greaves' sturdiness is something that the Jackets can take and run with. Plus, he played really solid. He's been a really solid goaltender in the AHL over the last few seasons, and um, – yeah, I think I think he's really good, guys. I think he's really good. On our community page, we actually put up poll up 11 days ago. What grade are you willing to give the goaltenders for their performance in 2022-2023? I expected a lot of really bad, uh, a lot of Fs and Ds, and we did get Fs and Ds. But you guys, the community said 61% gave the goaltenders a D. 17% of you guys gave the goaltenders a C, and then 11% of you guys gave the goaltenders a B. I feel like Corpusalo is one of the goaltenders that definitely earned a B. Just starting to feel like maybe Jack Greaves is one that I am going to hand out a B to as well. It's a little too early to tell because, I mean, I got the rest of the episode to tease that, but I can definitely see myself giving him a B for his effort. Again, I'm trying to pull up his stats that he had in Cleveland this year, but I know that they were really, really sound. I think the the Cleveland team could have been better overall, but they were probably victim to how bad the Blue Jackets were. Obviously, that's going to have an effect on how good Cleveland is because they got guys going back and forth. Yeah, so in 43 games played, he had a .899 save percentage this past year with Cleveland. And in fact, in... 29 games played in Cleveland the year before that. He had a .905 save percentage. So this guy's playing really good. He's playing really good hockey. I I think he could pick it up a little bit. But just talking about Bobrovsky the other day in the What Ifs episode, just because a guy dips below .9 in the save percentage doesn't mean you need to give up on him completely. That's still a really good save percentage. Really, this past Blue Jacket season has opened my eyes into what is a good save percentage. And that's a really crappy thing to say about how just how bad the Blue Jackets goaltending was last year. 
All right, we're going to keep talking about Jack Greaves in a second here. How will he fit in the lineup? What will, he, uh, what will his playing time look like this next season? And then we'll even finish up with his grade. That's all coming up for you guys in just a second. Get ready for the NFL season with incredible offers from America's number one sports book. That's FanDuel. Right now, new customers can bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Plus, all customers who bet that $5 will get $100 off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Now is the best time to join FanDuel. The app is easy to use, and you can bet on everything from spreads, player props, and more. You can maybe make some parlays. That's one of my favorite things to do on an NFL Sunday. Wake up, have your parlay set. Know that you just have one bet, but you're going to be watching all the games. Hopefully, good luck to all you guys this year playing. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on. Kick off the NFL season with an offer you won't want to miss. FanDuel, the official, the official partner of the NFL. Having some fun here talking about Jack Greaves and his season that he had this past year. Again, playing over 40 games in Cleveland, played the one game in Columbus. Kind of hard to judge goalies, kind of hard to judge goalies, but I think what I'm seeing out of Jack Greaves, I'm seeing consistent play. I'm seeing a guy who's came a long way already in his career, starting as an undrafted player, now being the full-time guy in Cleveland to now maybe becoming a part-time call-up goalie for Columbus to maybe even one day being the full-time backup goalie. I could see that happening, guys. I could see the Blue Jackets in the next season or two, just as the fans have, maybe start running out of patience with Elvis Mers Lincolns and then – handing the reins of the organization to Daniil Tarasov, who I think is a really sound goaltender, which I've said in his season review and I've said elsewhere. I think he's really, really good. I think he's going to have a really good NHL career. I think he could be more consistent of a goaltender than Elvis and eventually take his job. I think it's very realistic. I also think it's realistic for Jet Greaves to slowly work behind and work his way up to being – that next full-time backup. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work, but I think Jack Greaves is benefiting from one thing, and that is the fact that there's really no pressure around him, right? Because he's undrafted. It's not like the Blue Jackets are expecting to get a lot out of him, but if he delivers even just a little bit, he's going to continue to get eyeballs because Goalies are hard to find, and if goalies play well, then you're more likely to be kept around. It's just like quarterback in the NFL. Whenever a quarterback starts to have a good uh, completion percentage and you know starts to have games where he's not creating huge turnovers and he starts moving the ball downfield, a quarterback's going to get more eyeballs. And it doesn't matter whether you were picked in the last round or in the first round. You're going to get playing time. And Jack Reeves, that's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of a guy who slowly is building his way up, slowly. I feel like true hardcore Jackets fans have known about Jack Reeves for a minute here. But seeing him creep into the light a little bit has been exciting. And I, I just I can't wait for more of that story for him, right? He only played one NHL game. So it's really like he hasn't even had his full on NHL rookie season yet. He's just getting ready to flourish. I know it. I can feel it. And if he doesn't show it in Columbus, he's definitely going to show it in Cleveland. All the more reason that I'm going to go up and see games this year. He's making a, uh, a good amount of change too when he plays in Columbus, which, um, is all is more of a reason why I guess I'm also rooting for him because I just love when guys make money. Yeah, so Jet Grief signed a three year, two point two seven five million million dollar contract with CBJ on February 2022. The contract has a cap hit of seven hundred fifty eight thousand um, dollars. So there you go. He's making just below a million, and um. Yeah, I want him to earn all that money, man. I get so excited when these young players 
come up, play a couple games in the NHL because I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's the big boy money that they really want to be making. And like I said, I can't put it – I can't say enough. Jet Greaves going from undrafted to being in the mix now just has me so darn excited. All right, I'm going to finish up with a letter grade for our guy, Jet Greaves, and then we will close the book on his season review. We will do that next on Locked on Blue Jackets. All right, welcome back to Locked on Blue Jackets. Thank you for making this your first listen every single day. I thank you for bearing with us. Uh, Jay and I have had some scheduling issues. If you can't tell, I am not in my usual studio. If you're over on YouTube, you can see I am in a hotel. So it has been kind of complicated. Jay and I <laughs> lining up when we're going to do our show. But he's allowed me to take the reins and run with it. Hopefully, I haven't done anything as crazy as I did on that Jakob Voracek season review, where I ended up saying Jakob Voracek, his second time back in Columbus, was a waste of time. That was my opinion on it at the time. It still is my opinion on it, but uh, <laughs> we're talking goalies. We're talking goalies. We're talking Jet Greaves. It's not like I've said anything outlandish about Jet Greaves that he can win the Vesna. I feel like I've kept my expectation on on what his career can be. Very, very mild and very, very tame. Again, I think Jet Greaves in two to three years is a full is the full time backup for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm not saying he's going to go on to be the greatest backup of all time. I'm just saying I could see a couple year run here where Jet Greaves is making about a million dollars a year and just being that steady backup, right? Being that guy that comes in net. And, and, yeah, he's not the starter. He's not going to play lights out. But he's going to give you some really solid periods. He's going to give you some really solid penalty kills. I think Jet Greaves can be that. I think he can be that. And I think fans who watched him in Cleveland this past year know he can. Fans that watched him play in that NHL debut he had in Toronto knows that he can. Just let me remind you one last time, by the way, that game in Toronto – was a homecoming game for him. So a lot of pressure in that game. I'm sure he had a lot of family there, a lot of friends there. And he stood tall, again, stopping over 40 shots against the Toronto Maple Leafs, who we know can score goals, guys. The Toronto Maple Leafs are a pretty dangerous team if you haven't heard about them already. So with that all being said, I'm going to give Jet Greaves a B- minus this year. Again, not, not going to justify giving any Blue Jackets goalie an A. I don't feel like any of them deserved an A. I do feel like a couple of them deserved Bs. And I've been giving out a lot more Bs and the goaltender reviews than I thought. But that's just where we're at. I'm, I'm comparing each goalie on a curve. They're not necessarily all being judged on a completely equal playing field. But that's just because we expect a certain amount more out of certain goalies. I don't think anybody expected Jet Greaves to come in and play as well as he did this year. But when he did get in, he played great. I wish it would have been a game of more significance um, that he got to play in because we know that that matters too. There's probably a lot less pressure going into a game and knowing that, hey, if this team loses this game, it's actually helping their future. So, you know, if he was able to – start a game this year where the Blue Jackets were in the playoff hunt, then it could be a different story. Maybe. I don't know. I, I I have the inclination that he will go on and play really, really well in any hockey game, in any situation he's put in, because that's just the type of player he strikes me as. So, yeah, I'm giving Jet Greaves a big, fat B-. minus. I also love his name. Like, the name Jet is just cool. I was a big fan of Sandlot growing up, who wasn't. And I just think of Benny the Jet Rodriguez, except his name is not Benny, and his name is not Rodriguez. His name is Jet Greaves. And he gets a B- minus for this past season with Columbus. Don't be surprised in the next couple of years if this guy ends up becoming a full-time backup. Thank you guys for making this your first listen every day. Locked on Blue Jackets, again, is free and available on all podcast platforms, YouTube, and the SiriusXM app. My name is Hayden Hosshorn. You can find me on Twitter at HaydenH971. You can find my co-host on Twitter, 
J Foster at underscore J A K O B F O R S T E R. You can find the show on Twitter at L O underscore Blue Jackets. You can also email us locked on Blue Jackets at gmail.com. Thank you once again for listening. And until tomorrow, make sure you stay locked on.